Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this film, what I'd like to do is kind of finish up our, our, our sketch. Because our sketch is active here, we can go ahead and do something with it. And that's something we're going to do is put a hole. We're going to put a hole through our block. Two holes, actually, because we have two circles selected. But uh, one thing to keep in mind, or one thing that needs uh, to be mentioned here, is a term called design intent. This is something that's used a lot in SolidWorks. And um, what it implies is that you think about your model as you're putting your model together and determine while you're putting your model together put in geometry and dimensions in your model that will ultimately help define the model itself in other words no matter how big the you know the extrusion is here whether it's eight inches as it is right now or maybe ten inches later that the way we have this right now is that these holes are always going to be two inches from the edge of our block is that part of the design intent is that the way we want it ultimately or do we want to make it so that it's only five inches between the holes, between these circles that are going to eventually define the holes? Whatever your intent is, it's now is the time to go ahead and define that. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and maintain that two-inch uh, dimension in here, which means that when we make our block uh, maybe ten inches tall, it's still going to be two inches. If we put other dimensions in here uh, with other relationships in there, it may not have that intent. So, that's what the design intent means, taking the time in the very beginning of the model to put in dimensions and relationships in here so that when you go ahead and make updates and modifications to your model later, that that design intent is maintained that we will always have those holes at two inches from both of those edges. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, go to our features tab in our uh, command manager, go to extrude cut. If you just choose the default settings here, I think it goes out eight inches because it's what we defined our the the you know the height of our block before, and that's okay. We're going to go to check mark, and what it does is it puts two holes in there. You notice that the sketch disappeared, and now we have two uh, two holes in there which go all the way through the block. There are a couple of different options with that. We'll cover that in other films too, but for now, what we have is a two uh, eight inch tall block with two holes three quarters of an inch uh, in diameter two inches down from the top right down the center of that block so let's talk about the future manager tree a little bit again we've gone through everything uh, on the top of that including our plans and your origin but we now have two features in our feature manager tree the base extrude feature which we renamed before has got sketch three in the bottom and sketches are named sequentially so I went through three sketches before I actually settled on this sketch and you'll notice that under cut extrude this will be sketch number four and every sketch that we produce thereafter is going to have a sequential number that comes after that so if you look at sketch number three you notice it's six inches by four and a half inches and if we go to sketch four we can see what that sketch is but if we also go to the feature itself the basic extrude feature it shows us not only the dimensions for the sketch that defines that feature but the height of that feature too it goes up eight inches same with the cut extrude that goes out eight inches in the back even though it exceeds the width of our model and uh, it shows us our sketch dimensions in here too so if you want to make this and you can do this click on these dimensions instead of two maybe make that one and a half inches that works too we're going to make this instead of a uh, three quarters of an inch huh. let's move that out of the way a little bit let's make that one and a half inches make that a much bigger hole now the hole may not uh, may not update itself and if it doesn't, go ahead and go to the Rebuild button on the pull-down menu. Now we have that. Now that might be a little bit too close to the edge, so let's go ahead and change that. Maybe change it back to 2 and an uh, eighth of an inch. You can also change the size of the block by clicking on the block rather than the, uh, the, the feature itself. So to maybe make that 8 inches, we talked about 10 inches. Let's make that 9 for now. And now it's 9. So that's pretty cool. That's your first uh, model in SolidWorks. We made a, a, a an extrude feature and then we made a cut feature in it. But the basis of all these features is a sketch. And remember you have to, uh, for the most part, have to uh, draw a 2D sketch in order to do something 3D with it. Either make an extrusion, add material, or make a hole, taking away material. That's what we're going to do with this one before we're going to go on to the next one. We're going to rename cut extrude and we're going to call that side holes that's a good practice to do so when somebody's coming through and they're managing your um, your model they know what they're looking for when they go through your feature manager tree okay thank you for joining me join me for other films